Okay, so welcome to uh, the afternoon session. Um, our first talk is Minimizing Maximum Regret in Commitment Constrained Sequential Decision Making, and it will be given by Chi Chang. Uh, thanks for the introduction. I'm the first author of this paper. My name is Chi. It's a joint work with my advisor, Professor Satinder Singh, and Professor Ad Durfee. Uh, we really concern ourselves with uh, this kind of multi agent planning problem, but with commitment. Uh, suppose a set of uh, cooperative, cooperative agents maximizing their joint utility. Uh, in this problem, uh, coordination is really needed for them to achieve success. Um, and commitment is a kind of uh, coordinate activity where one agent is responsible for achieving preconditions for another. Uh, as a very simple example, suppose the right agent is blocked by this closed door and uh, the left agent happens to have the key. So it will kind of make a commitment saying, I'll open the door for you uh, in 30 minutes. Uh, I will call the left agent being the committing agent and our work, the, this work really f uh, focuses on the problem that could be uh, crucial uh, for the committing agent. Uh, one obvious problem is that the environment is essentially stochastic. Suppose uh, the committing agent, the left agent, really faced uncertain delays in reaching the door, then 100% uh, guarantee is no longer uh, achievable. Uh, we adopt the idea of probabilistic commitment here to kind of address this problem where the idea is very simple. You just provide a probabilistic guarantee about uh, what you will do. For example, I will say with probably 80, I will open the door for you in 30 minutes. Uh, let's formally define what, what I just talked about. Suppose the committing agent is in its mark of decision process and the commitment is being in a set of state phi, which is subset of all the state space, of course, item at time horizon t. And the stochastic matrix tells us the 100% guarantee is no longer achievable. Uh, our definition of a probabilist commitment c is really nothing but a three element tuple with the first two elements being the commitment state space phi and the time horizon t. Uh, the third element being the commitment probability. The semantic is that the, the, the agent really has to f uh, follow a policy of pi such, such that starting from initial state as zero, uh, the probability of the final state being in that commitment state space is at least um, probability p. This reward function actually indicates a kind of dilemma uh, faced by the committing agent. The committing agent can, of course, uh, individually achieve this, um, its reward indicated by this reward function that benefits the whole team, but its policy um, is constrained by, by this inequality. It cannot do arbitrary things. Um, we've just talked about the scenario where this commitment is very certain about every parameter of its um, MDP, but what if not? The problem is much more interesting. We are uh, when we have this modern uncertainty. So uh, here we consider this kind of modern uncertainty where the true word model, the true MDP, comes from a set of uh, candidate uh, mark of decision process uh, and uh, the committing agent is uncertain about its, its, its parameter, basically the word function and the transition dynamics. Our first question we ask and then we want to answer is, uh, what's even the commitment semantics under this uh, uncertainty? What does it mean to make a commitment when you have a model uncertainty? The second question is that, how, how do the committing agent um, solve, deal with its dilemma, which is that, uh, of course, the agent will learn new information about this environment and reduce its uncertainty uh, during execution. It has two kind of contradicting goals that it has to balance. The uh, first is that it wants to attain its commitment, of course, which is kind of a hard constraint. And second is, th is that it really uh, also wants to increase its local contribution to the, to the whole team, which kind of uh, objective uh, we want to optimize. Um, one of my, uh, one piece of my previous work uh, considers about this basic model where 
our uh, answer to question one was uh, the commitment probability is really with respect to the base in prior. And we want to find, of course, a base optimal uh, policy under this uh, constraint. And this work, uh, in this work, we concern ourselves about this non basin uh, model uncertainty, where our ans answer to question one is that we want to provide a kind of worst case guarantee on this commitment probability. And in a non basin setting, uh, the performance criteria of the policy naturally becomes uh, minimizing maximum regret. Uh, just using, using this um, very simple two-state example to, to ground what I just talked about. Uh, here's a very simple two-state example uh, with three actions. The first action, A0, basically moves the agent to the other state, and the rest two actions basically keeps the agent uh, in the original state. Uh, what's uncertain is its reward. Actually, more precisely, the reward of action A2 um, is uncertain, so totally you have uh, basically nine possible uh, reward functions. And a trajectory simply changes the beliefs uh, about, this, uh, tr about the true reward function. For example, uh, if the agent starts seeing uh, states uh, zero being A and take an action A2, it will, uh, stays, st it will stay in state A, but suppose the reward is one here, and basically the agent can remove all uh, reward functions where the reward, uh, in, in which that reward is not one. And the commitment we are, uh, e uh, example is that the, the agent commits to being in A at time horizon T, uh, for example, with probably one. And the worst case guarantee tells us um, no matter which is the true reward function, we want to attain that commitment uh, probability. Uh, our methods for constructing those uh, constrained um, policy is, uh, our first method is commitment, is called commitment constraint look at, or CCL. Recall that a tra trajectory can change uh, the agent's belief. Uh, but we can have more than one trajectory, actually. We can have many more trajectories. Uh, another possible trajectory is that, suppose the reward now becomes three, then the agent basically eliminates all the, all the reward function in which that reward is not three. And our CCL policy basically consider all such possible trajectory, but only up to a look at boundary, say L. Um, in this uh, twin states simple example, uh, the, the lens of the shortest trajectory look at that kind of removes all the uncertainty is, is, is three, uh, in which you simply try that, figure out the, the reward of that action in, in one state, and then move to the other end, you figure out the, the reward of that action in that state. Uh, here is a very um, uh, simple illustration of what's happening in CCL. Uh, before the look head boundary indicated by this dashed line, uh, you consider all trajectories of 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 of, um, of, of possible trajectory of lens L, and basically you choose the next action based on this trajectory. And after that, uh, beyond this uh, look head boundary, the agent will assume its belief uh, uh, will will not change, and afterwards it will follow a Markov policy. Um, this is kind of an offline um, low regret policy uh, planning algorithm uh, such that it will yield policies respecting the commitment semantics. Um, the second method, CCIL, basically uh, iteratively apply this idea but online. Uh, say in that uh, L boundary, it iteratively apply this uh, procedure uh, for the next L time steps. Uh, we provided some empirical results in this uh, twin states problem. Uh, here is a table showing uh, the maximum regret of those policies, of those methods, uh, with increasing horizon in this twin states example. Um, you can see that for, for, for fixed uh, time horizon, um, one method, which is greedy method, is, is, is actually the better baseline, uh, but with enough uh, look at 
offline or iterative look at online, our methods can simply uh, can outperform those baselines. Uh, for L, for CCL, when L is larger than three, uh, uh, the performance does not uh, increase any longer because three is not crucial number. Uh, I just uh, talked about talked about it removes all uncertainty in that reward function. Um, we can observe that as as, as that look at boundary increases and maximum regret actually decreases. Uh, but with uh, iterative online, using a look ahead boundary L equal to one, you actually can achieve the best provided by CCL. Um, our next um, example, which is a slippery T-make example, uh, which is, which, what is different from the previous example is that uh, now you also have uncertainties about transition dynamics. And in here you cannot simply guarantee the 100% commitment probability. Uh, see the agent is starting in that uh, black dot uh, cell and the, the commitment cell is this blue cell and the green cell is, is the only rewarding cell it, where it can, it can get some reward. So what's interesting is that um, this yellow box is uh, represent a certain number of slippery cells where uh, when the agent tries to move forward with some positive probability it will, uh, key, will be kept in the original cell. And the results uh, in this slice, we plot um, the maximum regret of CCL and the CCIL uh, with increasing look head boundary. Uh, what's interesting from uh, and different from the previous example that if, if you have a certain transition dynamics, that monotonicity does not, uh, is, is not guaranteed. Basically, if you increase look head boundary with some, uh, it is possible that the maximum regret actually also increases. But Thank you. But um, best performance is still achieved uh, by the iterative online method, uh, which, which is here. Um, to the conclusion, we developed commitment semantics for the non basin uncertainty. It's a good semantics, a semantics if we care about worst case guarantee. Uh, we provide two algorithms, CCL and CCIL, that kind of plan low regret policies. Uh, respecting the semantics. Uh, our empirical results show that uh, they both outperform the baselines and CCIL is slightly better, is more robust to uh, that look ahead uh, hyperparameter and uh, it can uh, achieve the best performance in our uh, empirical results. One possible, uh, two, two, two possible pieces of future work we can go beyond um, tabular MDPs. Um, uh, what, if, what if we have only have state features, for example, and what if we are dealing with factored uh, MDPs? Uh, the second idea you can uh, ask the question about where does the commitment come from? That what's the source and what's, what, what's those tuples uh, tells you about the planning in the, in, in, in the whole picture? Thank you. I'm open to questions. So how might this work in a mixture of humans and, and artificial agents? Um, how can you trust the commitments from the humans? Uh, yeah, you, basically you want to, um, you ask question how to, how we provide a kind of certificate that we are following the, the commitments. Yes, um, it's, it's kind of verification problem. We want to very, you need to verify how the agent behaves in all kinds of, uh, or human, in all kinds of scenarios, which uh, to be frank, I don't have a clear answer right now. Um, I have a question. Yep. So in your algorithm, you use the fixed uh, look ahead. Is there something fundamental about using the fixed look ahead, or you know, many like in Monte Carlo research, people grow the tree uh, um, not yep. symmetrically necessarily and not to the same. 
Um, is, is not fundamental. Actually, you can vary the look at horizon doing, for example, online execution. Mm -hmm. But what's important is that you are making a commitment about the final state you will be uh, at the time horizon. So that look at is only about the belief look at. You also have to look at all the way to the horizon about the physical states. Yeah. Any more questions? So you assume right now reward is, is deterministic now. So I mean, the piece you could have, the reward could be an expectation, so there's some noise in the reward. Are you able to deal with that or extend this in some way? Um, uh, right. Um, so if that uncertainty is kind of non-basin, then we can incorporate that. Basically, you can have, but the set of reward functions can, can grow very dramatically. Uh, that's a computational problem, but if your uh, uncertainty is based in since, since, um, since kind of natural uncertainty criterion, and uh, we have a previous work talk, talked about that. Okay, if there are no more questions, thank you. Speak again. Thank you.